hey, welcome back to another Grilling Tuesday video. So we are loving our Pit Boss Pro Series Combo Unit, and this is another video in our playlist series on that particular unit. What we like so much about it is the fact that it's a pellet smoker, gas grill, and side burner all built into one unit. Uh, I shopped around for a while for um, kind of a versatile all-in-one type unit, and I think I may have actually found it. It's not as large as some big giant smokers that are going to let you smoke a ton of stuff on them, but man, for everything we're doing here at the house with a family and some you know company, it's more than enough. But I had several people ask us a couple of times, like, hey, do you ever do anything on the gas grill side? Because most of our videos have been around smoking. Uh, that's probably because for the last uh, for the last eight years we've been living aboard our boat and grilling everything on this little tiny you know 12 or 14 by by nine grill and um, that's all you had hot spots and all so given that we had a smoker and we were able to do different stuff boy I've been just loving that so we're gonna try something today and that is to make fresh french fries from potatoes on the actual grill rather than deep frying it or something like that so this is the first time we've ever done it but don't worry if you're actually watching this video, it was not an abys abysmal failure and they worked out well. Uh, I really uh, kind of did a little looking around at what I thought would be the best way to do it. And we've certainly done uh, fresh french fries in the house and in the oven before as opposed to deep frying. So I think I have a technique that's going to work really well for us. Um, and we're not going to parboil them, which you'll see a lot of people do when they make french fries in their house, uh, especially if they're not deep frying them. And that's mainly because they want to get them soft and fluffy inside and then crispy on the outside. Now for this we are using russet potatoes and you could probably get away with using russet or maybe Yukon, Yukon Golds. Uh, if in your store you don't find potatoes that are called russet potatoes, the actual russets, if you see a bag of them that are labeled as baking potatoes, most of the time those are russets. Um, these happen to be rather small, but that's okay. We're making really thin fries. We want these to get good and crispy on the outside and still cooked all the way through on the inside, but I didn't want them to be big giant potato wedges uh, like, uh, you know, like you might, might see otherwise. Um, you know to do on the grill so they don't fall apart these are gonna be really thin cut quarter inch thick or so really really thin so I'm just cutting these in quarter inch uh, sizes and I'm soaking them in cold water you'll notice the first thing I do is cut one side flat and then turn it on the side and begin to cut them uh, each at quarter inch thick I'm just doing this with two potatoes to start uh, don't need to make a whole lot of them it's just gonna be a few of us eating tonight so once you've cut them up you want to run water over them and um, and rinse them really well. The purpose of this is to get the starch out of the potatoes. And you really want to make sure that you do this for a full 30 minutes. Uh, a few different times throughout that 30 minutes, I've uh, drained all the water out and then went ahead and refilled the bowl. So once they've soaked, you want to drain all the water off of them and you have these nice thin cuts. I mean, they're, they're I don't know, th uh, three of these would be the width of my finger. So they're nice and thin, about a quarter of an inch. We just want to lay them out on a napkin or a towel and dry them very well. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, do I really need to do that? And I assure you, you do. If you don't, what will end up happening is when you go to put these in the pan, rather than actually cooking uh, and getting crisp, they're going to spend the majority of their time steaming and working off and drying off all the water that's on them. And ultimately what's going to happen is they'll get mushy. So we are just uh, rubbing these around on a paper towel or a tea towel. Um, I might actually need to do this with a second towel. This one got pretty wet. Let me do that. Hey, 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 right over here. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch, man, appreciate it. All right, so we've got our fries here and the fact that I'm sitting outside, I may just spread these out and let the sunshine do its thing too. So we're gonna take the same bowl we have. We're gonna make sure it's just dried out real good. So all we're going to do is put a couple of tablespoons of oil now in the bowl. Now this is important, you do not want to use olive oil. We intend to cook this at a really, really high heat and if we did, potentially what would happen is that would scorch and it would give it a really kind of a sour taste or a burnt taste to it. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a canola oil. Peanut oil would be great as well, I just didn't have any so I'm using the canola. Uh, I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of um, kosher salt or ground sea salt. Again, this is just for some good flavor. And I have that in there. You can see it's not a whole lot, but the idea is we're just gonna put all of our fries in here and we're gonna toss them around. We're trying to get them coated and seasoned. That's all we're doing. It's just a matter now of tossing them around a little bit. Those look great. So we've got them coated nice. You can see they're nice and shiny here. 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the grill turned on and we wanna get it on high. We're doing about 450 degrees and I'm gonna put a cast iron skillet in there because I want that to get good and hot. Don't worry, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can do it on the grates. It just takes a little longer to flip each of those over with a pair of tongs. So I'm gonna be cheating and doing it in a cast iron pot. If you had a griddle top for your, uh, for your grill, that would work too. We just encourage you to be cautious. We have one and it doesn't have an outer lip on it. So when you go to flip them over with a spatula, it's real easy to knock them off of the actual um, steel itself. Uh, the, we have a baking steel, but whatever it happens to be that you have. All right, let's get the grill going. And as I mentioned, we're gonna do all of this on the gas grill side. I've got the smoker side closed. Start by turning on the gas and we'll get this guy lit up. I've got all my burners on medium. That's gonna get me probably about 400 degrees. I'm gonna put the cast iron pan in here, close the lid and see what the temperature gets up to and we'll get ready to get these fries on. So I just went ahead and turned this down to somewhere between low and medium and I'm still running about 475 degrees in the grill itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour about four tablespoons or so of oil down into the pan. I'm gonna let that get hot for about one minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop these potato french fries right down in the pan itself. As you can see, we're up to almost 500 degrees here, which is perfect. I'm gonna open this up, leave the flames on about medium heat or so, and make sure that that oil stays good and hot in there. We're just gonna go ahead and take our fries and dump them right in that pan. All right, the most important thing now that they're on is to just leave these alone. We want them to go for about 10 minutes. We don't wanna to touch them. The purpose of that is we want them to get good and crisp and they'll likely stick a little bit to the pan, but that's okay. This is a well-seasoned cast iron pot. It's gonna be fine, and I want that good char on one side. Get them nice and crisp, and let them start crisping through in that oil that's in there. All right, it's been about 11 minutes or so. Let me zoom in here and show you what we're gonna do to just get these things flipped over. So in an effort to show what this would look like if you didn't have a, uh, a uh, iron skillet, I went ahead and put a couple on the grill here. It's not easy to do that with your hands. I'm just flipping those over as well. So all we're going to do here is get right under these guys and flip them right over. Not quite easy to do, but we're making it work. As you can see, they're looking good and crispy. It's a good start here. All right, it's been about another five or six minutes. We're gonna flip all these over again, and then we'll do it one more time. All in all, they take about 30 to 35 minutes is what I'm finding, but man, they're starting to look good. The hardest part about all of this is just turning them over so that you get every side down and you end up with four sides of the fries crispy instead of just three. And some of mine are only three just because of not getting them flipped over right. And I didn't, I didn't wanna bother taking the time and using tongs to get every one <laughs> lined up, though that is a, meticulous way to ensure it happens. <laughs> Let's show you what they look like. So the first thing you'll notice is I put some more of these down on the actual uh, grill here just to show you that this can absolutely be done on the grill itself. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and leave these. Let's see. They're ready to flip. Yeah, I think they're ready to flip. This will be interesting. You ready? Oh, it worked. And look at those. Look good, don't they? And I will say they won't be quite as crispy as the ones that are in the pan. And I can already feel these are getting nice and crispy. Look at that. These are almost done. I like mine good and crispy here. Oop, that one down inside. All right, these are looking great. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. But this is what I'm going to use. This is the same one I was tossing them in before. A little bit of oil still left in there. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get these on here. For these, I'm going to do just like I did before, kind of quickly get underneath them. Let me get this turned off. All right, as you saw, I just put these in the same stainless steel bowl I used before for flipping them around in. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more salt on these guys. And uh, whatever your favorite seasoning is, um, my mom just got me this uh, peppered jalapeno, um, sort of a rub or sprinkle. It, <laughs> I just dipped my finger in it and licked it. It's got a kick. This will be good here. 
So I've got a couple of tips I learned while I was doing this. I've done about four or five of these batches just to make sure I had it right. And one of the things I learned is, you know, you have your burners on the grill and what and the pan, because it takes up, you know, two, two and a half of those or whatever the layout is of your grill, you'll develop some hot spots in it. So be sure you move the pan around. I rotated and slid mine to different places every time I came out and flipped the items over. That kept it from getting really hot or really crispy in one place. Um, that was one of the tips I had. So I'd love to know how you cook potatoes on the grill. I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to do it. Uh, and this is a really cool community. In the comments down below, go ahead and let me know how you cook potatoes. And if you try this recipe, how it works. Let's give these a try. Hmm. And this little tiny thin ones, I'm more like a shoestring potato. They're good. They're crispy on the outside. They're light and fluffy on the inside. They taste phenomenal. That is some kind of good right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video this week. And if you did enjoy it and we earned your subscription, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell notification so you get updated anytime we upload new videos. Thanks a bunch. Happy grilling. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday at the grill or the smoker. Bye, y'all. Addicting. <laughs>